Hey folks, got a bit of a bonus video for you today. Now the good folks over at Trendy Entertainment have asked me to take a look at their upcoming game, Dungeon Defenders 2, sequel to the 2010 original Dungeon Defenders, which you can still find on Steam, Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation 3, Mac, Linux, toasters, refrigerators, anything that has an internet connection, I'm sure you can find it. I realize it's very odd for me to start on the second game of a series, but if anything, I think my current perspective is a very important one. Let's see if Dungeon Defenders 2 is a game viable to the newcomer, one who has never played the original game and wants to see what the second title offers. However, you may have noticed the giant alpha on the video title by now, and that's because Dungeon Defenders 2 is technically not a finished game yet. The developers are still at a point where they're ironing out bugs, adding new features, and most importantly, in my opinion, taking feedback. So this is an alpha review, and I think my first ever one, unless I'm mistaken. So we should probably dress for the occasion. There. Alpha John. I want to start with a presentation here this time. A cartoony aesthetic tends to really pop in a 3D environment, and I find Dungeon Defenders 2 both clean and very pretty to look at. It's layered with many environmental touches that make areas distinctive without overcrowding your eyes, and all this is made even smoother with a solid 60 frames per second. Only one time did I ever run into a graphical quirk, and it was when other characters in the tavern became invisible, leaving only floating weapons. I thought I was in a ghost bar for a second. Yeah, but I doubt you kids will only care about graphics or frame rates, so let's talk about the game. Now, I won't lie, at first glance, I thought Dungeon Defenders 2 was one of those overly complicated, deeply involved MMOs where you're spending more time managing your inventory than slaying creatures, but I was pleasantly surprised to discover that Dungeon Defenders 2 was remarkably easy to grasp. Basically, it's tower defense. A horde of enemies will continuously spawn from their base and attempt to destroy the precious object you're tasked with protecting. It could be a giant crystal or something as sacred as the king himself, and I don't think he's forgiven me just yet on what happened to his castle. Before the start of every raid, you set up your defenses, each of them costing mana, this green stuff right here, which you can replenish after every round of combat with these mana chests. The cool thing here is that you, for all intents and purposes, can take as much time as you want setting up your defense. The raid only starts when you're ready to begin, so there's no pressure. Nah, battle is when things really heat up, and it's up to you to use your strategically placed defenses to keep the oncoming enemies at bay. And you can even use the environment to deal with threats should the opportunity arise. After a set amount of raids and when you take care of the boss, victory is yours and you're rewarded with a ton of loot like cash and new weapons. But your character isn't just someone who relies on outside elements to win, they're capable of dishing out major hurt. Don't worry about that. At the moment, you're given four classes of warriors to choose from, though you're welcome to have multiple characters to experiment with. For this video, I went with two. I chose the monk first, specializing in status buffs and key attacks. He also has a ninja suit, and that's all I need. My second choice was the huntress, actually, and after playing for a bit, she became my default. She's all about the long-range attacks with her bow and arrows, and she could lay out traps for gullible creatures. I didn't play as the Squire or the Apprentice, but if my online partners were anything to go by, they can set up amazing defenses either by brute strength or incredibly effective flame cannons and shields. It's naturally inebriating when you see your defenses tearing right through the opposition or when you and your comrades have good synergy and leave no stone unturned. Though I stress that it's important to have someone else to play with because while it's feasible to Han Solo your way through everything, Dungeon Defenders 2 is much better with another person, or better yet, a team. If at times the bad guys may have a harder time going down, Dungeon Defenders 2 has RPG elements on your side. You can level your warriors up with experience and money earned in fights, and you can equip them with new duds and gear you find on the battlefield or at the shops in the tavern. This is your resting spot. You always head back here after every battle to check on your new equipment, sell or buy things, or learn new tricks when talking to important NPCs. But I don't think your characters are of the proper age to begin drinking, so as far as the barkeep is aware, every warrior here is a freeloading bum with no proper housing. The rewards keep piling on you as you play, so even during those rough patches where the enemies get the upper hand, you always walk away with at least something to get you on your feet. In no time, your player character will have new means of building defenses or new abilities to take down even the toughest of works with careful planning and aim. And on that subject, the keyboard and mouse controls are splendid. I know to some hardcore PC users out there, this is pretty much common sense, but you gotta remember, I've been a console junkie for over 23 years, and I'm happy to see that even someone like me can play Dungeon Defenders 2 with relative ease. Ah, I suppose it's time to wrap this up. Well, it is an alpha build after all, and surely as the game continues to grow, I'll be sure to drop in when I can, and I got a feeling we've only scratched the surface on this one. Dungeon Defenders 2 is very easy to pick up for people of all ages, but has enough layers, I think, to attract dedicated gamers with its RPG elements, unlockable costumes, 
items, weapons, abilities, the whole nine yards. And I know I said this already, but the presentation is deeply charming and feels welcoming. So if you're interested in signing up for the alpha, you can check the description below for a link that leads you to simple to read instructions and voila, you got Dungeon Defenders 2 on your PC. The game's always getting updated with new things to try, new things to see, so revisiting should always hold something plentiful. And best of all, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything, yep. So you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. You never know, you may just find me roaming around in there and don't worry, I don't bite and I always compliment you on a job well done. And to everyone over at Trendy Entertainment, I wish you guys the best of luck, and thanks again for letting me try out your product. I really did have a great time. And to all of you watching, well, thank you for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night, and take care.